This is Crandy, and today I'm going to show you how to convert Guitar Hero and Rock Band MIDI files for use with Reaper and the MIDI Pro Adapter. So, I'm kind of sick, so this video is probably not going to sound so great, uh, but it's long overdue, so I'm going to do it anyway. So, I'm going to start off with a Rock Band file. So, first, you're going to want to insert Media File, and this is where you choose your MIDI file. So, I'm going to start off with a, an original Rock Band file just because they are probably the most difficult to use. So, I'm going to choose. Let's do Blood Doll. You're going to want to make sure both of these are checked. Now, you're going to come up with a whole bunch of these here. Now, we don't care about guitar, bass, vocals, or any other things that are in this file. So we're just going to delete all of these because we don't need them right now. And we only care about part drum. Because that's what we're converting. So, once you have that, you're going to want to open up the MIDI adapter, or the MIDI editor. And you can see here, there's a whole bunch of notes. So the only notes we care about are the notes between 100 and 96. These are the notes used for expert drums. The rest are for other events and other difficulties. So we're going to delete everything but these notes. So the easiest way I found to do that is just right click here on the note number and it will select everything in that row and then just hit delete row by row. Okay, now that all those notes are gone, I'm going to scroll back up to your set of notes here. So each one of these corresponds to one of the notes in the game. So 100 is your green note, 99 is blue, 98 is yellow, 97 is red, and 96 is your kick pedal. So, start off, highlight row 100. Right click here, and select Note Properties. You're going to come up with this Note Properties menu here. So, always make sure velocity is at at least 100, because if it's below that, the adapter is probably not going to recognize it. So, now we're going to, each of these notes converts to a different note for the MIDI Pro adapter to recognize. Uh, I will say them now in the video, but I'll also post in text in the description of the video as well as in the blog post that this is posted in uh, for reference when you're converting them. So 100 changes to note 41, 98 changes to note 45, or 99 sorry changes to note 45, 98 changes to note 48, 97 changes to 38, and 96 changes to note 33. Then when you're done just hit OK. Scroll down and this is what your completed Rock Band MIDI Pro Adapter format file should look like. So now when you're done just save project as whatever you want to save it as, wherever you store your files. This is Blood Doll. So now, that's a Rock Band file. Next, I'll show you a Guitar Hero file. So, we're going to open up a new project. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to insert Media File. So, for this one, I'm going to use a Guitar Hero Van Halen song. And the next one on the list is Intruder. 
and select your MIDI file. Same thing, make sure these are both checked. It's going to look pretty similar. So here we go, we have events, guitar, bass, drum, and vocals. So like before, we only care about drums, so we can delete the other four. Now, like before, open it up. As you can see, this one's a little bit tidier. There's not as much clutter down at the bottom here. But same thing, we only care about, is in this one it's a different set of notes. It's between 101 and 95. So anything other than those, delete, because we don't need it. It's all clear, now we can go back up. Like before, we're going to start with 101. Now, the Guitar Hero drum set is slightly different, or the Guitar Hero notes are slightly different because obviously they have to convert to Rock Band, and Rock Band is missing one of the pads. So, for every Guitar Hero game except Guitar Hero 5 and Warriors of Rock, and also Band Hero. The orange note converts to blue. But in those three games I just mentioned, it converts to green. So be aware of that when you are converting files. So I can do one for each in this video to show the difference. So here, since this is a Guitar Hero Van Halen file, it's going to convert to green, or to blue, sorry. So 101 that is your green note. 100 is your orange note, which for the MIDI Pro adapter is also a blue note. 99 is a blue note. 98 is a yellow note. 97 is a red. 96 is kick. And 95 is also kick. But that only applies to Expert Plus songs. So this one is not. So there are no notes there. But just be aware of it. So, 101 is going to convert to 41. 100 is going to convert to 45. 99 will convert to 45. 98 will convert to 48. 97 to 38. 96 to 33 and if we had a 95 it would also convert to 33 so here's our completed Guitar Hero to MIDI Pro adapter file like before save it Now I will show you a Guitar Hero 5 file. So, new project, insert media file. See, do I have Guitar Hero 5? I do not. So we'll do Warriors of Rock. Let's do Burning for You. So, as usual, delete everything. Like before, it just uses 101 to 95. Everything else can go. Okay, so, again, no properties, 101 is going to go to 41, and 
this time 100 is also going to go to 41. 99 is going to go to 45. 98 to 48. 97 to 38. 96 to 33. And if 95 had any notes, also to 33. Then we save it. Now, if you want to submit these files to me to post on the blog with credit to you, please email them to me uh, to the email address provided below in the description. And please include in the email what you would like to be called in your credit. So hopefully this helped you guys out and you might be able to keep up with all of the files that I haven't had time to make. Thank you for watching.